you're getting immediately strapped in. <laughs> Instantly. Okay. Instantly. You know how it feels. Put your hand out of my Boom. Boom. It's easier if I just do it for you. Instantly. Okay, now, but before I, before I apply the apparatus, show me what you can do before do this. One, two, one, two. Oh, okay. See, her hands are already apart. She's turning at the wrist, kind of. She feet. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to. I don't have to add the bar. I don't have to beat you. Bigger. Okay, threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that going. Okay, good. You know what's up. This is what we're gonna do. These quarters. You saw you saw you already watched him. If these quarters hit the ground. The ground turns to lava, and you're gonna murder all these people. Yay! Don't choke up no, either. Okay, <laughs> don't drop those coins. Coins, do it again. Okay, now, why would I have you hold, hold those coins there? Uh, because if it's too loose, it's just gonna like bounce and not have a solid, um, not a solid if, if my grip looked like this, with all that space there, and I only have control on the yeah. bottom and the top, then there's no way I could ram out all... I want my, I want my hand position to be what it needs to be. To, to, I want my hand position to be in place to be able to play the most difficult stuff that there is. If I'm just gonna do one, two, three, one, two, my whole life, then I can get away with just doing this. I can get away with that. But if I wanted to play, there's no way I could get away with that doing this. It just sounds like garbage now. So I have to have a strong grip on that. So your finger needs to wrap all the way around. Okay, now let's do, let's do all the bad habits together. Hands together, no. Thumb off the stick, no. Finger down the stick, you, are, you already know that one. Pinkies out. Now move like this. Move, move at the shoulder, ooh, ooh, with a stiff arm. Yeah, that's what not to do. Everything that's the opposite of that, do that. Okay, so now let's break that down. Hands apart, which you're already doing, good. Close off that space, get the thumb on there. Wrap that finger all the way around. See how your thumb was off the stick? Bring it onto the stick, choke back a little bit. If you're touching that Velcro, you're too choked up. And so now, and then turn over to German grip. Okay, this is called French grip. And for timpani playing and for other things, that's, that's a thing. But for drumming 101, hands apart, and then turning over, and the wrist turns way more this way than it does this way, right? So we want to utilize that whole range of motion like this. Okay, now, I like, I, I like having advanced students, this is great. So now do this, hold way up here, and now hold them out like this, and hit the back of your arms. Ah, uh, get rid of these. We don't need these given that your hands are already apart, which is great. I love it. I've been doing percussion for like years now. Okay, good. I, I can tell. So now, instead of this, turn over and have those go straight down. Imagine there's like a weight and a pendulum that's going to take that straight down. Like a metronome. Like a pendulum. A metronome. 
No, that's different. You you already know. Okay, now now how the tips hit the center. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you look legit. Okay, now now watch this. Now just scoot back a little bit and do the same thing. And have them hit the back of your arms. Have this hit your arm. And now come back a little bit more. Do the same thing. Close off that space. Put your thumb, like, you want the pad of your thumb, like, right into the center of the mass of that stick. Just go bigger and slower. And now come back a little bit more. And have this hit the back of your, your, your wrist. And now kick your elbows out a little bit. So ideally, your plane surface will be a stick length away. Do this. Put it up to your belly button and have the, the, the yeah. So you're a good distance away. Now, create for me a 90 degree angle. 90 degrees. 180, 0, 360, right? 90 degrees. Show me, show me a, a square right there. Okay, I'm not good at angles, sorry. Well, show me a square. Now it's kind of weird because it's at, a, at an angle here, but that's, you know, we, we put a square right here. Yeah. My dad has that metronome clipped to his guitar stand. Good, good. So. Okay, good. Now let's do some double stops, but split it. Okay, now choke way back. So do you know do you know where to hold and why? Um, no. Okay. So the percussion book covered hand positions. And yeah, but, but the the percussion book whatever may have shown you what to do, but it didn't. I guarantee it didn't tell you why. Yeah. Oh, that's the education right there. Is the why? Now, watch this. If I hold, no, 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 get rid of that. She's busy. You millennials, you guys are so, you guys are so messed up. All right, she's busy learning how to be a human. Okay. Okay, one stick down. We're just gonna do a one stick thing. Check this out. Hold this and just drop it from the back of the stick. Boink. Boink. And notice that there's no bounce there at all. Now come to the center of the stick and let that fall. And that doesn't have any weight. It's just totally lame. But now come right about to here and now drop it. Notice that it bounces all by itself. It bounces really, really well. So you want to hold the stick where the stick bounces the most. That's where you hang on to it. And so you can feel, you can just test where it falls. So wherever it bounces the most, that's where you grab onto it. That's where the thumb and the index crush that stick, where it bounces the most. Not up here. Flint has, Flint has a bad habit of choking up too much. You have a bad habit of choking up too much. He has a bad habit. Y'all are choking up too much. You want to choke back where the stick bounces the most. Not where it feels comfortable because like of the weight of the stick or whatever. This isn't that heavy. You don't need to choke up that much. She's busy. I know. Just put it away. Just throw it over your shoulder. There you go. Don't even have it touch your skin because then you'll know it. Then you'll be distracted. Yeah. This is an education for you too. So chop, chop. Okay, well, let me, let me, I'm going to write something out for you, and it's right, where's my thing, here it is, okay, I, I gave this to Flint the other day, you're going to practice this too, one, two, three, one, two, three, triple, triple, triple,
that signal, that, that symbol means what? Uh, it's an accent mark which makes it a play louder than the others. Yeah, okay. And this means what? This little, this little baby note. I don't know. <laughs> it means a grace note. It means a flam. You know about flams oh. yet? Yeah. That's the way to write a flam. Oh. And so that's a left, right, left, right, left, right, left. This is called a flam. These are, these are called flam accents. And they're on that page of the rudiments right there. Okay, work that out for two seconds. I'll be right back. Let me go fix my sign. Play me a right hand of flam. A little, a little left. Is this falling or something? Oh wow, this all fell down. Okay, so show me right hand of flam. So usually a flam in, uh, in band is like you hit one slightly before the other. Yes, although the the one that comes before is small. Which is why this is written small. It's a little grace note. Okay, now just start. Show me this. This way up here and this way down here. Three inches, twelve inches. That's not. That's more than twelve, but that's the way we say it. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. And so now do this. Zoom. Good dunk. Small, big. Small, big. Like start there. You start here. And then as you go down, choo, choo, choo. It's going to feel really weird to lift one and not the other. This one just raises a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. That's a flam. See how this is way up? Bring it down. Do it. Mm -hmm, that's, all, that's as high as you get to go. Show me a flam. Yep. That's a flam. That's what that is. That's a little left and a little right. So, right, left, right, and then a left flam. Yes. That's, those are flam accents. Yes, good. Right, left. Yeah, and it, 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 now watch this. This I'll, I'll speed that up. Howdy, gals. Bang on those bars right there. Pick up that stick and bang on there. accents. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And the reason why I'm a fan of, of triple, triplet rudiments is because they're symmetrical. Whatever you do off the right, then you land on the left. So regular, okay, just practice regular triplets with the accent. Triplet, 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 loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, soft. Do that. Look at where you're choked up. Say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, good. Okay, now show me this. Just, just. 
Yeah, and then you're gonna keep that down. So right after, right after it hits, you're gonna crush the stick. Yes. Now, not a press, but a, oh, here's a slow motion. Bam, clinch. Bam, clinch. It's basically, the, it's, basically, it's basically one motion, but it is one motion right after the other. Keep that down. Yeah, see how you're lifting your arm? Don't lift your arm at all. There it is. That's, that's it. So now, stop, tap, tap. Accent, tap, tap. And so, but if I do this, then I'm in preparation for a small note. If I'm doing this and I'm lifting, then I'm not ready for a small note. You're holding the middle of the sticks. There you go. Bad habit, bad habit, bad habit. Big, small, small. Big, tiny, tiny. Big, tiny, tiny. Accent, tap, tap. Accent, tap, tap. Accent, tap, tap. See how you're starting your, your smalls way up here? Bam! Tap, tap. Yeah, and now make that big note. Just come, just come exaggerated. Just come way over your head. Bam! Tiny, tiny. Left hand, way up. Bam, two, three, bam, two, three. Ah, oh, that was it right there. Tiny, tinies. So, check this out. Your homework assignment is to teach this to a non-musician who has maybe a proclivity for doing music before sunset tomorrow. Give me four rights, four lefts. We're gonna do a pattern first. Our pattern is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, 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 left, 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 left. Okay, now, now we're gonna add a permutation. We're gonna add an element to that. We're still gonna do four rights and four lefts, but now we're gonna go big, small, 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 big, small, 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 like this. Big, small, 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 big, small. Yes, exactly. So like a metronome? Well, everything is like a metronome. Patterns, dynamics, adding the bigs and the smalls. We're going to differentiate, we're going to make different the bigs from the smalls. Now, put your, put your right hand up here, and then low, low. And then keep, keep your left hand here, keep your right hand there, and that is the same operation. Big, small, small, small. Big, small, small, small. Give me a really big and a super small. Small, small, small. Big, small, small, small. Big, small, small. Big, small, small, small. Big, take a load off. Do it. Yes, choked up. If you're touching that Velcro, you're too choked up, which is why I put the Velcro there, by the way. Lift it over your head. Bam, two, three, four. A little lift, two, three, four. Bam, two, three, four. Bam, two. Yes, good. Yes, yes. Okay, what are you gonna do before sunset tomorrow? Um, teach one. Person. Teach this exact thing that I taught you to her. How about that? To Amalia. But she doesn't have the ability to focus. She cause she, eats, she eats too much sugar oh, yeah. and she's addicted to her phone, and she's on roller skates all the time. I, I roller derby. I need to teach you this. She's she's a loose cannon. Oh, well, then let's do it. I, I got moved out of all the six months when I went to Pinehurst for the rest because I'm not going to do it. Okay, well, show me paradiddles. Just without the accents, just paradiddle, paradiddle.
Okay, you know I'll it all is great. Good. Now, now. And we have to do them really fast. That fast? Okay. Now, now add the accent to it. And we can just, we can just split the hands. Now go big, small, 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 big, small, small, small. Big left. Big, slap, small, small, yeah. Da, da. Big, small, small, small. Big, small, small. Now see how you're hitting. You're hitting the big, and then you're ending up here. You want to do that stop shot. Boom. Yeah, choke it off. But you don't want to stop it too early, like you just did there. You want to let it hit. It's it's basically the the motion is, choo, bam. Yeah. Where did that thing go? Okay, show me paradiddles with accents. Do play this right here. Accent tap 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 paradiddle. Do that. Yeah. To differentiate between accents and taps. And in the drumline world, that's what we call them, accents and taps. Now, why did I call, the, so we have different variations of singles and doubles. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, double, single, single, double. So it's just a paradiddle, but uh, but it shifts. You see how that works. Now, why did I call this three, four? Why is this one called three, four? Because that's where the paradiddle is. That's where the double is. That's where the double is. Now, why did I call this two, three? Um, because that's where the double is. That's where the double is. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, as slow as possible, uh, Mom, hey, Vicky, Vicky, that pink one needs to be at a position where a kid could stand on it and not have the table be in their face. You pushed it too far back, that's what I'm saying. So, so now, and this is what I want you to do. Yeah, well. She's, she's advanced. This guy's advanced too. You're up next, by the way. my dad. Oh, well, I can see where she gets it from. I can also see where she gets her bad habits from too. Oh, oh. Okay, so now, now, this is what I want you to do for the whole rest of your life. Do we have mom here too? Mom and dad, okay. This is what she's gonna do and you're gonna hold her to it. I don't want her to ever make any mistakes ever again for the whole rest of her life with anything. But, but that sounds unreasonable, right? So here's the balance. The balance is that she gets to take it as slow as she needs to go to get it right the first time. Oh, is this a trend? Miss Hasty? Miss Miss Addicted to Sugar in Video Games? Okay. Yeah, I think that's Amalia. That's her for sure. Yeah, she's a, she's a bad influence right here. That was not mine. It was on the floor. Sure. No excuses. Have a seat. Yeah, sugar, don't eat that, please. For all of our sake today at this fair, don't eat that sugar. Okay. Okay, now, just eat some blueberries and just be done with it. Okay, look at this. And now, forget about the accents for now. Just show me that pattern. But get it right the first time. But even if you need to go this slowly, and stare at that the whole time. Don't take your eyes away. Left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, good. So you did it right the first time. So now you don't have to unlearn the wrong thing. Now, or did I say that right? Yeah. 
now, now your neural pathway has made that connection immediately, and you don't have to then break that later. Bad habits. The best habit you can give yourself for the whole rest of your life is to do it right the first time. Finding a husband, do it right the first time. Doing your taxes, get it right the first time. Driving a car on the freeway, get it right the first time. No, there are some mistakes that are irrevocable, like, you know, like getting married to the wrong guy, or, you know. Or becoming a drummer. Or becoming. <laughs> Bucket of fish. Okay. Touche. So, by the way, the coolest thing that a human being, there's Jerry Tanamoto, the next mayor of Atascadero. The coolest thing that a human being could do is to play a musical instrument. And this isn't up for debate, so don't even try it. The coolest thing a human being could do is to play a musical instrument. And obviously, and the coolest instrument is drums. So therefore, our logic is true and sound that the coolest thing that a human being could do is to play drums. I disagree. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You shall lose this argument. Choir is my favorite. My Choir favorite. Is <laughs> that is an instrument. Singing yes, is, is singing is cool, I guess. Your voice is an instrument. I'm talking about an instrument. No, <laughs> don't give me that. To me. Then piano. <laughs> no voice. You know, I can say uh, drums are not the coolest instrument because our drums are in the barn and the barn is not air conditioned. <laughs> that, that is that is that. It's your fault, not the drums. That is a misnomer. That's got nothing to do with reality. Your anecdotal BS has got nothing to do with it. No, my drums are actually in the barn. I think that ukulele. Yeah, but that doesn't instrument. support your argument at all. No, it doesn't. I think that ukulele is the best instrument because I can play sweet child mind. No, I still, I still have to do like three more things. It's too hot. It's too hot. One more thing after this. I have water. We can doubt. There's a hose over there. Okay. We can hose them down. That's my point. Okay. You got five minutes, then so we're going to go. Wait, All right. Oh, what? Callie's going to drive you home. Oh. Okay. Oh, so that means she's got 15 minutes. Take responsibility, so be good. Okay. I do not have permission. What's up, skateboard dudes? Have a seat. Okay, so that's mine. This is yours. There you go. Oh, but it's. Yeah, I put it in there. Uh, oh, that's mine. Oh, this needs to be over here. I'm getting smart. Ooh. My face back there does that. Why is that? I'm having technical issues today. All right, I had it right before. Oh, that wasn't up. That's why. Turn this down. Turn this up. Ah, this is too close. Ah. No, I make the rules, and you have to go on those giant trampolines. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. You can go roll around and eat sugar any day of the week. I also do roller derby. Yeah, well, and but not now. You're doing, this is the beginning of the rest of your life. I'm secretly wearing heels. Now, now play that and get, uh, apply the accent. Ooh. 
apply two, three, four. Do do the two three and apply that accent. Do it slow. Do it slow. Big. Okay, you got the pattern right. Now add the accent. Yes, good. Her brain works. What a joy. Occasionally. Well, I don't care if it doesn't work in other capacities. I just care that it works right here, right now just for today. Oh, there's too much gain. There's too much gain. There it is. Ah. Pick up those sticks. Hit that hit those things, baby. What's up? Okay, now show me the one, two. It's a reverse pivotal. Ball. But now, now slow that down to half, half the speed and give me big notes and small notes. Take a load off. I'm going to, oh, okay. You can sit on mom's lap where you sit right here. Big, small, small, small. Yes. Now, we're going to chop that speed in half. But when we chop the speed in half, now we have more of an opportunity to go really big and then really small. Big, small, small, small. Big, small, small, small. Big, big. Small, small, big, small, small, small. Yeah, exactly. Now wrap your mind around the last one. Why is it called 401? Um, because right, left, right, left, left, right. Yeah, one, two, three, four, four one. one, two, three, right, right. Wrap your mind around it. Get it right the first time. Slow it even down even more, and now differentiate loud, soft, soft, soft. And now the tricky part about this one is now you're gonna go soft, loud between one hand. So now that looks like this, which is anti-gravity. Left, left, right, 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 yes. Yes. Big. Big. Now 
you're doing reverse paradiddles. Now you're doing the one, two. I knew that. Yeah. So this is the paradiddle grade. Now watch this. I'm going to slam through all each one. So here's the first one. One. Now the next one. Three, four. Okay, well, I'll split it between two hands. It's between two different sounds so you can hear it. One, two, three, four. That was all of them. I did, I did four sets of each one. How about a flamadiddle? Flamadiddles. Those are them. Those are hard because there's three in a row. Oh, actually, there's four in a row. I, yeah. Those are paradiddles with a flam. Try that. So you can do paradiddle, paradiddle, but now on beat one, flam da diddle, flam a diddle. But don't flam a diddle, diddle. Almost. Good dunk. Left hand of flam. Hang on. Uh huh. Strap in. Think about it. L stare, stare at this the whole time, and then just add a grace note to B one. Uh, left flam. Right. Start over. Right flam, left, right, right, left flam, left, right, left. Yeah, that's a flamadol. That's what that guy just said. Which are difficult. They're difficult if you play it up to speed. Well, anything is typically played up to speed. So you have flam accents, which are on my poster of all the rudiments which there are 41 standard rudiments. Teach that to her. It's going to be the ultimate challenge tonight. Wait, what? Teach it to your mom. Teach, no. teach this to somebody. OK. Yeah, I'm teaching it to her. Why would I have you teach it? Because um, to, uh, if to, to be able to know something really well, you have to be able to teach it. Say it again. You're close. Um, if you know something really well, you can teach it. Say that in reverse order. If you can teach something really well, you can When you teach someone, you know it better. When you, when you put yourself in the position to have to explain something to someone, that means you better know what you're talking about. That forces you, that probes you to really know it. I've been teaching now for three zero years, 30, 30 years, and I am a way, way, way better musician because I've been teaching. These concepts, like the pair to the grid, like the four magic ingredients of music making, all these concepts, the flam accents, all these concepts, if I explain it to someone, then I'm putting myself in a position to have to, to really have to know it. I have to know it. So I'm putting myself in a position where I'm forced to synthesize the information. So therefore, my job as a teacher is to get you to know it. And so the best thing that I can do for you to get you to know it is to tell you to go teach it. And then, then create a chain reaction. And then that creates a chain reaction of getting students in my door to give me money so I don't have to be homeless. <laughs> so that I can be here to do this for you. Because if I'm starving, if I'm, if I'm not fed, I'm not here doing this. And then you miss out on this awesomeness. It's called, it's called basic economics.
So, you've got my number. Oh, and you're also, another homework assignment is to go to my website and w sit down with mom or dad and watch any one of my cute videos on the homepage. What's your name? Bye, Hallie. Bye. I thought she was going to give you a homework. I thought she was going to give you a ride. Yeah, later. Oh, okay. All right. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, Amelia, you're so responsible. And you, you, I am. I have your plate. Okay. Okay, now, this is what we're going to do. Right down on St. Lucia. There you go. Your homework assignment is to go to that website and watch one of my cute videos. All of the videos are super cute. That's your homework assignment. Okay. Watch any one of those videos. And then also, given that you're an advanced student, the second to last page is called YouTube Rabbit Hole, where I have about 40 videos. I have a, basically a, a musician's museum of all the best musicians on the planet killing it. Mostly drummers, because I'm biased. And you can go there to get inspired, to be like, oh, that's how it's done? That's how it's supposed to look? Yeah. So there's my videos, which are super cute. And then there's the videos on that YouTube rabbit hole page of pro musicians of all kinds just annihilating the scene. OK. Show me this. Pinch here. Fan your fingers out for now, just as a temporary thing, and buzz. Show me a buzz. What is that? Thumb off the stick. Get for real. Fan these out. Pinch like, whoops. Pinch like crazy right there. Just, uh, now let that bounce. Yes. Left hand. Match my fingers. Yes, good. That's why it's called matched grip. Match grip, traditional grip. Match grip is where it's at for now. Give me some buzzes. Try to get them to bounce at the same time, each hand. I forgot to finish setting up here. Howdy. Anyone tell you you look like a Ryan Gosling from the side? <laughs> no. Well, now you have. It must be from, from your right side. Maybe. Yeah. The right where you can't fully see my face side. Yeah, the profile from, okay. from the right side. Take a picture of yourself or have your wife tell you. Thanks. That's why she married you, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get them to bounce at the same time. Buzz, 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 buzz. This guy got devastated. Yeah, now make sure your finger is wrapped all the way around. Your finger can still be wrapped all the way around and still be loose enough to let those bounce. Yes, you do know. Oh. <laughs> she can't walk around. She has roller skates on. It's an impossibility. 
Well, she can go walk around and go waste her life. Meanwhile, you can stay here and make use of your life. She's a distraction. Focus. Focus. Okay, you're getting strapped in. This, by the way, is paradiddles with the two different notes with the accents. Okay, put these down. You think you know how to drum? Oh, you know nothing. Watch this. I don't think I know how to drum. <laughs> You, well, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this with you if, if, if you were like, you know, yeah. okay, pinch right there. Right there? Yeah, put your thumb on this side of the thing and this side of the thing. And now, to prevent all the bad habits, this gets wrapped around. It feels like the dentist's office. Yes, latex, that's why. This goes above the knuckles. Pinkies. You can't, you can't pull your pinky out now. Get that a little bit tighter. Now, here we go. I've been put into a contraption. Yes. Uh, scoop forward a little bit, if you're comfortable. Now, this fin, you're gonna make that go straight up and down. If it's to the side, if you're doing French grip, now with your thumb this way, now this is off to the side. Ah, so now you have to go to German to get this to go straight up and down. And so do a few hits, and if it's off to the side, you'll know it. Now deliberately turn, and now hit. That's dumb, right? Now you can feel all that weight kicking off to the side. So have that fin be straight up. What should I call this? Should I call this a fin? Should I call this a wing? What should I call this? The thing. The thing. Oh goodness. I'll call it a fin for now. Okay. So now give, give me some big strokes. Boom, boom, boom. Just give me all big. Now have it be, just go slow and smooth and have that go straight up and down. See how it's like curving this way? Have that go straight up and down. Not yet. Now just make it fluid. No, just bounce those. Yeah. And see how your hand has to be in this position to do that? Because this is the bad habit that all kids do. Hands together, thumbs on top. Now. Give me a few more hits. Boom, boom, boom. Do I have my uh, do I have my white spool of tape over there? Am I being recorded? Oh, you're gonna be a big YouTube star. Although, okay, I, I won't I won't publish this if you don't want. It's fine. Okay, cool. I'm just worried that my friends will find me on YouTube. Oh my God, your friends are your friends are not gonna go to my YouTube channel. That's guaranteed. No one goes to my YouTube channel. Although... I have a friend who's in percussion in band and like searches up drum videos to learn how to play Weezer. That's a waste of a life. Why? Weezer, Weezer is a good, a good game. Weezer. I don't even know what that is. 
Is it a rock band or something? You are a crime to humanity if you don't know what Weezer is. <laughs> I am sure my life is better for not knowing what Weezer is. My favorite color is Weezer blue. I live for Cypher. Oh, they have their own branded blue? No, it's just a specific color code. Oh. It's Weezer blue. But that's got, that, that's got nothing to do with the band, right? I mean, it's the blue that Weezer has on their background. There's this cube that goes around my school. It's like a paper cube with Weezer on it, and people just get, like, pass it around. Last time I got Weezered was, like, a month ago. You got Weezered. Oh, this is what this is called? Oh, don't forget that. Good thing. I'm glad you remembered. Okay. All right, that's There's Weezer Blue. All right, all right. Yes. How many what? Like six. All right, all right. It's kind of like a, almost like a teal. All right. Isn't that a cool invention? This is going straight up and down. Yeah, so keep your, th oh, this needs to be a little bit tighter, so I can get your thumb, like, squeezed into place. Shut, just squeeze, squeeze on that thing. Bam. Above the knuckle. Oh, it needs to go over the, okay, squeeze onto that thing. Show me, like, show me the best drummer grip you can you can muster, and this goes over the tip to prevent this, right? And this reminds me of the one music app, Koala, where you can like turn it into triplets. Turn um, what into triplets? Like a, a sound that you record, you can turn it into different sounds. Okay. <laughs> You can like make a piano. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's basically for like backing tracks. For, uh, I'm going to write this down. There it is. What's it called? Koala. Just Koala. K O A L A. Music app. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to look that up. Amalia really wants to go. <laughs> See, you learn things from me, but I also learn things from my students. Like koala, I would never know about that ever. It's because very I don't. Up and down. That, that's you can play upside down. In fact, you play it, hit, hit my hit in my hand. Yeah, with with um with flint, I built uh, an octagon. I built a like a, a shape like this, and you can play on all sides of it, on all eight sides. Okay, give me one, two, three, one, two, three. Bigger. There we go. Wrist, 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 wrist. Yeah, now sit up straight. Put your feet back. There you go. Now you look comfortable. No pain, no gain. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, it is sort of purple. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's meant not, it's, it's not meant to be worn for a length of time. It's just meant to be a, a demonstration of what to do. It's, most, it's just meant to demonstrate where to put your fingers. So it's a training, a training stick. Pretty cool, huh? You're looking at a future millionaire, by the way. You mean I'm looking at this? This is going to be a millionaire? This is my invention. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell it millions and millions of times and make and sell it for a million dollars. So that's millions 
multiply it by millions. Well, I don't think that I don't think that this could sell for a million dollars. Like why not? It's pretty awesome. They <laughs> could sell for like twenty bucks. Okay, all right. I'll I'll take twenty bucks times a million, twenty million dollars. Um. I went to the Atascadero Teen Center and I found a case of AirPods, um, <laughs> and no one wanted them, so I'm gonna sell them on eBay for fifty dollars. Amelia, you just turned them into the awesome bag. No, I get money. Well, more power to you. Your turn next, Tom. No, I'm going to draw a roll away with your face. I will just roll away with your face. You are the one who forced me into this. Yeah, and I wanted to go. Forced. She literally showed me. I did? Yeah. Yeah, but good thing, right? Because now you know how to actually drum. See what you're what you're doing over there with Mr. Liberty is is crazy cool. I, I went and saw I went and saw your guys' uh, like your concert before the school year ended last year. I was really, really impressed. That was really cool. The only the only drum rhythm I I learned this year was uh, was the uh, Play up here. Let me hear it. Usually, usually I do it on bass so that I can have the other lower tone to do. But it's basically just fast notes and then hand claps. So the hierarchy, and the hierarchy of how music is constructed. What's the first thing that we have to have? to make some music? What's the first element? Rhythm. Yeah, the beat. Tempo. And then what is above tempo? Uh, uh, rhythm. Rhythm, exactly. And the melody. And, yes, exactly. And and harmony. Yes, good. Tempo, rhythms, then pitch, then melody and song, and then harmonies. But that's still having to deal with pitch. Tempo, rhythms, pitch. And then there's other things above that. But those are the three basic building blocks. Tempo, rhythms, pitch. Because we could have, we could have a violin player who's playing all the, like, perfectly right notes. Bam, 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 bam. That's obnoxious. And, if all the notes are right, like they just make the, the tuner just go green each time. Perfect notes, but if the notes aren't played at the right time in space, one, two, ready, go. Like if it's late, then it becomes the wrong note because if they're playing with other people or to a tempo, to a metronome, then those become the wrong notes. I had, there was a guitar player in the Tascadero Jazz Band who was just like, like worse than bad. He was playing all the right chords, but he was just playing them whenever he got to figure out when he didn't realize you needed to play them at the right moment in time. It was bad. I don't even, I don't even know how he got into the class. Probably because the principal just threw him in there. Oh, he plays guitar. Let's just put him in band. Wait, the high school? Yeah, way, 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 way long time ago. Oh, long time ago. My brother's in the jazz band. Cool. Like the best they do, they do have have in first chair for the two. I know people in the, not the front of the other chair. Take a load off. Come have a seat. So, we're up here doing drum stuff. And I have an advanced student here. Here, let's show her what we did. I know, you tell me, what, what should we show her? Um, paradiddle. 
paradiddles, okay. My greatest fear. Your greatest fear. Good. Well, I'm glad you're facing your greatest fears. Paradiddle. Big, small, small, small. Big. Let's go slower so that we can differentiate even more. And just lift that, lift that hand way above the head. Bam! Small, small, small. Big, small. Yeah. You know, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go one, two, one, two, one. Just keep this going. You're going to be my metronome. Louder. Now do threes. One, two, three, one, two, three. Accent. Yeah. Big, small, small. Now day crescendo. Isn't that cool? Oh, we have an audience. Nice. 